Hi everyone, I'm Kelly. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're going to be playing another episode of Mass Effect 2. So the last episode left me speechless. I didn't really know what to think, what to believe. I had to wrap my head around it all. I feel like he is going to be a very interesting character to onboard. And today we are going to go do his loyalty mission, which I am very excited about. I want to know more about Legion. I want to know more about what is going on with the Geth, how these heretics and who he considers himself Legion, how they differed from one another, how they thought that they just woke up one day and decided, hey, we're actually pro-organics. We don't want to kill the organics. We're not going to stand by your side. I think it's very interesting that the Geth can form an opinion, divide. I just, I'm blown away that this is even happening right now. I also thought it was really interesting that Legion referred to himself as Legion, we are one. And he actually referred back to a part from the Bible, Gospel Mark 5, 9, which I thought was a very interesting gospel to pick because it's pretty much about a man who is possessed by a number of demons. He comes up to Jesus and he says to him that he is one of many. I just think that it's really interesting, but also a little bit creepy. He is referring back to not only a very human Bible, but he considers himself a being or whatever that is possessed by demons. I might be thinking about it too deeply just because I have read the Bible and I have done several Bible studies. I grew up in a very Christian heavy home. That's why I think I'm also super interested in religion because I kind of had it like forced down my throat for a majority of my life. Know a lot about it, but I like to branch out and think about different religions as well. I just think that religion is very interesting. I have told you guys this before, back when we were talking to Samara, Ashley has actually talked about God before. So they do touch on religion in this game pretty, pretty often. And I think it's what also makes this game super great because it's ballsy enough to dive deep into not only people's personalities, but they also tie in politics and religion. And that just, in my opinion, what makes this game so great and juicy and the lore behind it is amazing. Very, very good. The entire conversation with Legion, in my opinion, was so well done. I mean, going back and watching it two to three times, trying to understand it, taking notes about it. I can't wait to talk to him more. I can't wait to pick apart his brain and see what he's thinking, how it even happened that the Geth have diversified and just completely gone away from one another. There's the old way, there's the new way, but how is that possible when you're talking about AI? It's just, it's kind of mind blowing. It's kind of interesting that literally at the same time that I have been going through Mass Effect, we met Legion literally like three days ago. I started watching Pluto on Netflix and I don't know if any of you guys are anime fans. I am a big anime fan and I just started watching Pluto. And if you guys know, you know, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone. If you do want to go watch it, I highly recommend it. It's a very, very good anime. I'm only like three episodes in. I think it's very interesting because I am not 100% sure how Pluto is going to go, but I see some parallels between AI, robots, and this way of thinking. I just feel like it was like the perfect time to start watching Pluto while I'm going through this with, the, with Legion. I'm just very excited to see how his loyalty mission goes, what we can do for him, and how this all pans out. I am definitely going to take Tally with me on this loyalty mission. So let's get started with Legion's mission today. See where the heck the lore and everything else takes us. I am itching to get back into the game today. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so before we head out, I'm going to go back down and see if Legion has anything else to say to us at this time. I think someone mentioned in the comments that he has one more thing to say or maybe a couple more. So let's go see what he's up to. Dr. Chakwas, you know who's in there? She probably wouldn't believe me. 
Shepard Commander, are you prepared to attack the Heretic Stronghold? Can you give me a quick rundown of the situation? The Heretics have prepared a weapon that will rewrite all Geth to join the old machines, the Reapers. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corpse? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. So the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. Okay, we already did this all before, but I need to relive it again, just in case you guys do, do need to also. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. Okay. Can you guys explain that to me? Some of it still went over my head. Some of you guys are very smart out there with math. I am not smart at math. I had to take like stat courses in college and somehow i managed to get by but it took a lot for me um calculus stat all of that stuff i'm just not good with numbers like at all <laughs> so thank you guys for the explanations in the chat i really enjoyed reading them a lot if it were released how quickly would this virus spread through your people we are networked via ftl convoys most would change within a day isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network Okay. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station, on the edge of the Terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They build stations in the Terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. Why not in Geth space? Why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. Okay. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many Geth? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. Okay. I'm surprised we can't ask where the N7 armor came from. I don't know how he got a hold of it or why he's wearing it. So my initial thought when I walked up to him before I even turned him back on was that, and I know it's silly, you know, it's crazy, it's not possible, but I was like, what if it's Caden? <laughs> like, what if it's Caden and they converted him into like a Geth? I don't know. I just, I thought that maybe like Caden's mind was uploaded into the Legion or something. Obviously that's not true now that we're getting to know him, but I do want to know where his N7 armor came from. I don't understand how he got it, why he has it, unless it's kind of like um, the guy that was very, <laughs> Gosh, I forget his name. I want to call him Buddy, but that's not true. <laughs> um, we saw him again. He was in Mass Effect 1, and he was very obsessed with Shepard. He ended up buying that, like, counterfeit N7 armor. We found him back on Omega. Um, or no, Ilium. He was in Ilium and causing mayhem, pretending to be an N7 officer. Um, but he bought it, like, from an online shop that was 
selling counterfeit armor for very cheap or something. I'm just confused why the Geth ha has it, and I don't understand why he's wearing it, and who gave it to him, how he acquired I'm just like, I I have questions. I'm wondering what this is and why we haven't been able to ask him about it yet. He obviously looks up to Shepard a lot. He knows everything that she has been involved in and retraced our footsteps. But I'm just, I'm wondering how he acquired the N7 armor. Uh, okay, we'll wipe him out. Heretic headquarters. Sounds like we could end their raids once and for all. Let's do it. Total victory is a possibility. We cannot judge the odds at this time. Regardless, we will begin preparations. Okay. I'm surprised I can't ask him, like, Shepherd Commander, for upgrades. Are you prepared to attack the heretic stronghold? For, like, upgrades or anything like that? Maybe after we do the loyalty mission, we can? Not yet. Acknowledged. Okay. So let me see. Does do you have anything else to say in here? What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. Okay. Okay, well, I think that we just we head out and we go see what's going on um, with his mission and try to do it the best we can. We're definitely going to bring Tally. Um, not sure who else we should bring. Maybe Garrus and Tally since, you know, we've been doing this with them already. I feel like that would be the best decision, but yeah, I think I'll just bring Garrus and Tally with me. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Oh, Kelly, you lied to me. You lied. <laughs> all right. Um, and those of you that said that I need to upgrade all the upgrades that I got, um, I did do that last time. I just cut it out. I forgot to tell you all that everything that we picked up, the heavy weave, um, I think we might need more palladium actually for that. I lied. Yeah, we need more palladium for the heavy weave upgrade. But like sniper rifle, shotgun, all of those up the other upgrades beside heavy weave, I have already acquired. So we are good to go. Okay, so I did do a little bit of mining. I mainly did a bunch of upgrades last time but i knew i was missing this um i just needed more palladium which i thought i needed 20k so now we have a lot of palladium which i guess is good or palladium however you say um so that's good we are definitely caught up on that but i think we have everything else now um whatever legion gives us as like an upgrade eventually if he does have one um we should have enough resources for it for sure so um yeah, all of our upgrades are done again because we got a few on that last mission. Sea of Storms. Ugh. Sounds like an intense place. Sounds very cool. All right, so the Heretic Station. Wow, there's no other like planets or anything. We're just like out here. Look at that thing. It actually looks amazing. It kind of reminds me of Liara's mom's like helmet thing. I don't know. It's very cool looking. Heretic Station. Once called Haritar by the Quarians, this space station was stripped of its useful technology by the fleeing migrant fleet when they left the Perseus Vale 300 years ago. I can't wait to take Tally on this mission. I know that she's probably very upset with us right now, but it has to be interesting to her too. Little more than a cold metal superstructure floating in the void. The station was removed by the star charts by 2050 CE. Scans indicated the station was reconstructed and upgraded in a massive effort that must have taken at least 10 years. 
implying that there may have been some Geth outside the Vale before their infamous attack on Eden Prime. Needing little but a fuel source, it could have been hidden for here for much longer without attracting attention from the barren worlds around Tassara or the clueless Elcor in the Salahiel system. Heretic Station, as Legion refers to it, is home to a Geth data core, capable of broadcasting vast dif- distances through tight beam projection. Approximately 6.6 million copies of Geth software are stored in the station, the majority of which are kept bodiless in servers and downloaded to laked platforms when needed. The station's population of laked platforms is approximately 2.4 million. That's insane. All right, let's talk. Okay, so we're bringing Legion. Um, we can't cycle his appearance or anything yet, but we're also bringing Tally. Oh, she has different... Oh, I forgot to look at her upgraded outfit. Wait, is this the new one? I can't tell if this is her old outfit or one of her newer ones. I like the all black, though. Um, we are going to put this into Reeve. So let's go ahead and purchase... thing is so cool looking. It's huge. You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull at these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. Joker is not happy about it. This facility has little error gravity. Geth require neither. Intruder alarms? Won't we be detected? Don't they have intrusion alarms? Sensors have been reduced. We have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits. And that helps us how? The heretics must scrub this junk data. They have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel. Any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in. Only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander, we concluded that destruction of the station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these Geth, they'll join the others. Legion's Geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Hmm. Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. Yeah, uh, I'd say so. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. Um, rewriting is unethical. Let's go. They're just machines. I mean, how I'm with Tally on this one. How do we know? How do we know that these new Geth won't attack us once their mission is complete? I mean, they made this pact that they don't want to kill organics how long has that pact been going on for how did it happen see this is why i need to know more <laughs> i need to know more to understand but for now i'm i'm gonna go with this one i wouldn't brainwash an organic race i can't see treating the geth differently the question is irrelevant if we do not rewrite them we destroy them that is why we are here do not hesitate now they will exterminate your species because their gods tell them to you cannot negotiate with them. They do not share your pity, remorse, or fear. Yeah. He ha he makes a lot of like really, really good points, especially since he is one. Um, I mean, they have a sense of, I mean, they have to have a sense of 
some sort of pity and dignity and something because I mean, look at him and whoever else he is linked to, the 1,000 of them, they have this feeling, this pity that they don't want to kill organics. How? Can the others be swayed? Oh, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. The Geth are inactive. Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams will alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against hardly crowders. Okay. I'm guessing I shouldn't touch the green on the floor. This is wild. Sensor contact. So we probably have to destroy that hub, right? There's one more. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and put abilities on here. I guess we'll have two drones kind of like floating around. Um, and then we'll use this one too. Do I need a key or something? Or maybe I just need to destroy this? There we go. Shepard, I'm picking up useful resources in the Geth Hubs. We could salvage them for supplies. Okay. I'm sure Tally's gonna get all the data that the she needs attached here. attached to these hubs? These are mobile platforms, hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between death is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. This is wild. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see something another does not, and they will make different judgments. The heretics are part of you. I mean, they're all made from the same stuff, right? I can see why you'd be conflicted about the heretics. In a way, whatever you do to them, you're doing yeah, to yourself. Yeah, also that. Yes. Once they return to us and upload their memories, we will share their experience of being altered. Mm, it could be traumatizing. Every other species I know of might be psychologically scarred by a traumatic experience like that. It is not clear if death can be traumatized. We do not feel pain as you do. We cannot predict what the effects will be. Let's keep moving. Yes. Okay. All right, nothing else in this room. Let's put this on here. I think I'm so like lost in my brain that I can't even like play the game how I'm used to playing it. Like normally when we first land down, I'm like, all right, let's put our abilities on the wheel or the numpad. Let's um, put all of the stuff on the guns. Right now I am so like in my own thoughts that I, I can't even fight right now. We can assume control of any defensive turret. They will assist us briefly, then self-destruct. Okay. So we just go up and override it. Okay. All right, 
that thing distracted. Consuming control. So it's gonna blow up, right? I feel like this one took forever to blow up. Oh, there it goes. It blew up. <laughs> Look at all this stuff like floating in here, I guess because there's no like gravity. We're just like, how are we walking on the ground right now? Targeting forward. Okay. All right. I wonder if I, so if I step on the green floor, they're gonna know it's me, right? They're gonna see me. So maybe if I step on the green floor and then I take cover, that will help. We have been ah! Ready for next target. There I am. I'm on the infant bat and under fire. There's more. There we go. There Where'd you go? Everyone's good. All right, let's destroy this one over here first, or we can salvage it. And then we'll destroy this one over here. Okay. Anything back here? Nope. All right, let's keep moving. Whoa, okay. Like kicked me out of my spot. I didn't even notice until I was like out in the open. <laughs> All right, here's some meds, some ammo. More ammo. That sounds bad. Are you still alive? Okay, there's another turret. There's actually a couple more. Oh, okay. Nope, 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 not what I wanted. Can I jump down here? Target processed. No. I have to go around. Okay, there's one more over here. Overriding turret. Okay, I didn't realize I could do it that far away. That's nice. Oh, I'm probably gonna explode soon. Okay. <laughs> explode right in my face. Let me go down and see if there's anything in this room. I don't think we can get down there. Oh, there is a ramp. Okay, that one exploded. Yeah, let me just make sure that there's nothing. Hiding down here. Okay. 
No loot. Okay. So we came from that side over there. I think I saw a door over this way. There's some power cells and meds. Okay. So eerie and quiet and spooky in here. Where are they? Palladium, ammo. Geth terminal. Okay, let's bypass it. We can use this. Geth shield no train. Geth nice. shield stations this large. The station is over 15 kilometers long. That room may run the length of it. Wow. This is crazy. Look at this. This is wild. I feel like I, I, I'm just like, I'm so blown away. We're doing this mission right now alongside another guest, like with Tally. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless all the time now. I don't even know what to think anymore. I'm excited to see where this leads, like what happens after we finally shut down the virus, but I'm also a little bit nervous. Like Tally said, how do we know that they won't just decide to kill organics after they get the virus finished? I don't know, but I'm guessing that since they've already made that informed decision before they even knew about the virus, I think I could be getting my timeline mixed up, but I'm pretty sure Legion said that they had decided this back when Saren was like taking over the Sovereign and they didn't want any part of it. Um, they didn't want any part in killing organics. So they formed their own and now the Reapers are coming after them. But I'm pretty, look at them looking at each other. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the timeline. Um, that afterwards the virus was made. All right, no one step on anything, Tally. This is just wild to me. It's wild. these geth are at. oh there they are okay yeah they're over there i don't know if there's any more anywhere else but i guess we can just start with these guys on range target neutralized Those everyone. Grab that ammo. Salvage this for Tally. And for me, because I get credits. <laughs> okay, we're 
there's the other one. Okay. We didn't get anything pop up in the codex. Okay. Are these databases? Processors. Each contains thousands of geth. Can't they see us walking by? They are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream. Weird. Whoa, what was that? That was creepy looking. Oh, I think it's just the stuff floating in the sky. This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. Wait, we discovered copies of our current patrol routes in this database. This suggests the heretics have run times within our networks. Is that surprising? Run times? This suggests the heretics have run times within our networks. We wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics desired to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. I think it's really interesting that he has those like facial features like when he is expressing himself or he's showing like you know he's trying to relay something his i want to call them eyebrows but they're just like part of his face that move and then like when he becomes like a little bit disgruntled or like upset about something i've noticed they like furrow a little bit and it's just it's creeping me out it's so crazy how legion and ai has this like feeling he has feeling look at him and look at his eyebrows look at the way he just talked to me he's feeling things it's it's giving me like the heebie-jeebies a little bit but i also think that it's really cool and interesting but i'm just i'm just so blown away right now all right so they have an understanding. The heretics wanted to leave. They understood. They allowed it. They know about each other. They coexist with one another. They're not trying to like murder one each other, one another. I guess maybe things change though. I mean, if their God is saying that humans gotta go, organics gotta go, all the species gotta go except for us, and they're against it, Maybe their god is now like, all right, we'll kill the other Geth that are against it. They're spoiling our plans. It couldn't have lasted forever. You disagreed about what path your race should take. Human history is a litany of blood shed over differing ideals of rulership and afterlife. Geth have no such history. We shared consensus on such things. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? Yeah. What did we do wrong? <sighs> That gave me goosebumps. This is wild. It's their fault. It's not your fault. Yeah, it's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. It's... There's... It's not your fault. When individuals are separated, they develop in different ways. When they get back together, they don't always get along. If this is the individuality you value, we question your judgment. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. What's your opinion on rewriting? Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable, others rewrite. So there's a mixed jury. Interesting. I don't really know how I, where I stand on the rewrite. I mean, if they're like, if they're all like Legion, they're thinking, they have eyebrows, they're moving, they're, they're feeling, I don't think that they should rewrite, but it could, it could cause a lot of harm if they don't. Some processes judge destruction preferable, others rewrite. Well, if it's a, if it's an argument between destruction and rewrite, I guess, 
I guess rewrite? I don't know. I'm I'm so torn. Let's keep moving. Yes. Cause what if the rewrite doesn't work? This is wild. To think that there's thousands on in each of these and they're all It's just crazy. It's just, it's so crazy. Assuming control. I'm gonna wait to turn that one on. I feel like we're about to get swarmed. Yes, we will upload a copy of our runtime into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will notify us. Uh-oh. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? Mm, I guess we could activate the defenses first, right? Yeah. You can override these like you did the earlier turrets. They can help defend our position. Yeah. Correct. In addition to the turrets around us, there are others on the mainframes below. Indicate which you want activated, and we will program them. This will only last a few seconds. Okay. Start your upload, Legion. We'll defend this position. File transfer begun. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. All right. I don't know where a good place to stand is. Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. One wave, one down. Jeez. Oh, give me that ammo. Unfortunate. Okay. Holy. They gotta go. get some more ammo so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh run and do that real quick <laughs> oh we can't go Alert. that way that Heretic sucks run times downloading to mobile platforms okay i need to figure out how to get this ammo over here i don't think i can get it though yeah it's just it's just chill in there dang that sucks <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I'm gonna let some of them come up so that I can grab ammo. I got some ammo from back behind there, but there is some like laying here now. Okay, let's turn those After drones on. Jeez. Okay. 
okay, okay. Heal. Run. Run! Okay, let's run back behind here for cover. Oh, a slither of health left. Okay. okay. Data mine and analysis complete. Ooh, that wasn't commander. too bad. It is time to choose. Do we rewrite the heretics or delete them? Oh, jeez. Why am I deciding? Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction. Mm. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. Killing your own people? You don't have any trouble wiping out your own people. Every sapien has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. If they have the right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? Yeah. We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. It is Shepard Commander's decision. Oh, man. I feel like both ways are rough. So I'm trying to think about this in the voice of legion like as a we i'm struggling with this i actually took a minute to just kind of like sit back and like sit my water and think about it and i'm still kind of like very much up in the air on what to do i am struggling with the fact of rewriting them is taking away free will basically if we rewrite them the the cons is that we're we're doing it against their will. They obviously don't want to be rewritten. It's no different than what the Reapers did to the Protheans. It's no different at all. They're basically being rewritten completely to worship something that they don't necessarily agree with. And that is a very big con for me. The pro side of it is that we would get more people on our side to help fight against the Reapers. Um, we saved the Rachni and ME1 because of the same thing. My same thinking was that the more species that are on our side to help us win this war against the Reapers, the better. And having more Geth that are actually on our side would be a really good thing. More legions that are on our side would be a good thing. Another con to rewriting them, though, is that Tally's people are very much against the Geth. They are going to do anything and everything to get rid of them. We've seen it firsthand. We went there. We sat through Tally's very political trial about it. And I don't think that a lot of people in that room are ever going to come around and see Legion for what he actually truly is. I mean, look at what happened in the first place that turned the Geth into what they are today. Tally's people, the Quarians, they believed that the AI were too free thinking. They got freaked out, so they started killing them. And they started, the Geth started freaking out and they fought back. So it's ultimately, I hate to say it because I love Tally, it's ultimately the Quarian's fault that everything happened with the Geth. The way that it was handled, everything else. Like it, it all just chalks down to the Quarians were in the wrong on this one, at least in my mind. Um, I feel like they were in the wrong about this one. And it's funny because even when we went to go do Tally's um, mission where she went to trial and all of that stuff, it turned very political about Geth. And the one guy, the like the main guy in the center, I, I'm blanking on his name. Um, 
he was saying how we need to be peaceful with the Geth, we can form peaceful relationships. And at first I was like, what are you talking about? And then I got to know him a little bit more and my perspective changed. I started reading through the codexes. I started realizing that the Corians were actually at fault here and that they weren't doing anything but trying to survive, just like Legion is trying to do now. They're just trying to survive. The downside about killing them, obviously the biggest con is that we are technically killing a bunch of legions. If we think about it in terms of there's a bunch of legions out there that could potentially be saved or their mind could be flipped, we're, we're murdering them. The upside to it looking from Tally's perspective is that if we do kill all of them, there will be less Geth. And if the Geth and the Quarians end up going to war, which I highly suspect it based on the politics that we saw at Tally's trial, they will have less to deal with and it could be easier for the Quarians to take back their home world. So I am like very, I am like, I'm so up in air about this one. I don't want to make this decision at all. Um, and I definitely don't want to make the wrong decision. So I think the way that I am going to do this, because I am very much lost in my own head right now at this point, I, I've taken a moment to like write down my pros and cons list. And I'm like, I'm so like, I'm just, I'm so confused about what to do. I, I'm at a stop. I'm at a standstill. I think I'm gonna go with whatever Legion said. Um, he said that he they took a vote. I'm pretty sure that rewrite won. Um, but I'm gonna go with democracy on this one. And I think that more of his people wanted to rewrite. I could be wrong. I'm gonna click this again just to be sure. But I'm pretty sure that it was like mainly uh they went for rewrite why are you letting me make this decision they're your people we are conflicted yeah there is no consensus among our higher order runtimes 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction shepherd commander you have fought the heretics you have perspective we lack the geth grant their fate to you Gosh, it's such a close tie. I thought it was 500 to 700. Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. Oh, okay. There is no consensus yeah, is. among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. Man, I hope that Tally doesn't hate me. I think I'm gonna do the rewrite. I'm gonna go with democracy on this one. It's only two Geth that want it more, like the the difference is two Geth, but I mean, I can't see, I don't wanna like kill out the Quarian race by doing this, but I also really think that the Geth, if they're like Legion, um, they could be on our side and help us with the Reaper fight eventually. And I don't think, they definitely don't see it as if they're losing free will because I'm looking at it as an organics perspective. I'm looking at it as like, no, you're not gonna take away my free will. What are you talking about? I immediately wanna click, it's safer to kill them because I would rather die than lose my free will and my, my thoughts and all of that stuff. Like what good is a mind if it's just not your own, if it's swayed, if it's reprogrammed? But they don't think that way. They're Geth. And I don't want to kill a bunch of legions. I'm so torn. I'm going to do this one. If they're rewritten, your people will accept them back? Will they even want to go back? They will agree with our judgments in return. We will integrate their experiences. All will be stronger. Take them then. When we get control of the core, release the virus. Acknowledge. <sighs> I hope I made the right decision. Releasing virus. Note, remote access via high gain transmission required. What does that mean? The virus will be sent to heretics in nearby star systems. 
This station will broadcast a powerful electromagnetic pulse through FTL channels. How powerful? Yield in excess of 1.21 petawatts. Alert. EM flux will be hazardous to unshielded organic forms. Addendum. The interior of this station is not shielded. I really wish you'd said that before. Okay. Back to the ship. Double time, people. Well, we gotta get back. Like, now. Oh, my God. Okay. to think about like what to do as hard as I did in this one. There were so many pros and cons and I honestly don't know enough about the geth nor have I thought about the geth in this way to start even like thinking about what to do in this situation. It's just absolutely insane how this went down and I really hope I made the right decision. I'm just thinking about humanity, I guess, that I like as a whole. And I'm really sorry about the Quarians because I feel like they're definitely going to go with, to war with the Geth, especially with that one lady in charge. And I just know that there's probably going to be a lot of like casualties if they do because they're going to be dealing with a lot more. But I couldn't kill them all knowing that they could help us with the Reapers and that it's not really a matter of free will for them. It's just a matter of having more on their side, like as a we. And when we talked to him about like death and all of that stuff, like he did say that it's very strange, but they can't like, they can't feel anything um, like pain or anything like that. But he did say that they, they notice deaths or they notice gaps. I just hope I made the right decision. Oh man. I just, I ultimately, I just went with democracy. Like I, I went with what they kind of wanted to do more so than the other, even though it was such a close vote. Um, but yeah. I just hope I did the right thing. Rewriting of Geth heretics will make main Geth faction significantly more powerful. Poor Quarians. 
Given perception of reapers, they may be possible allies, though long-term cooperation remains unlikely. Regardless, data recovered from Geth Station offered valuable insight into AI social and technological processes. Legion to be committed to the mission after Shepard's help with the Geth heretics. I think he was going to be committed either way. I don't think that there was a question about that. I don't like that it said two very big cons on my list. Like, right off the bat, significantly more powerful against the Quarians, possibly us in the future. Like, I am getting kind of like a knot in my stomach about that one. Hmm. Commander, Tali just went to have a chat with Legion. You better get down to the AI core. I'm on it, Joker. Lord. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We already made the Geth stronger by rewriting the ones that worship the Reapers. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet by giving them more information. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a Geth on the team, but this is too much. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think Tally's wrong. I also don't think Legion's wrong either. They both have very valid points. Tally obviously has every right to be upset and pissed and want to protect her flotilla, obviously. It was also super wrong of Legion to go in there, scan her Omnitool, and look for stuff. It's like a, a, what are they called? Spy or whatever? But they're both, they're both right. I'm not about to tell Tally to back off. Absolutely not. But I also... I understand why Legion would do it. He wants to save his people, too. Tally, your father was running brutal experiments. If the subjects had been human, I'd damn well be telling the Alliance about it. True. I know. But if the Geth find out... They'd attack. Which would cause a war that would leave both the Geth and the Quarians vulnerable when the Reapers show up. Is that what you want, Legion? We believed it was necessary to relay the information. Sooner or later, you're both gonna have to stop fighting this war. Or we'll all end up paying for it. Unit. To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. Well, that was nice. Wow, Tally is like super understanding. Holy moly, that was insane. All right, let's go down in, um, actually we're already here. Let's talk to Legion. And then maybe we'll go down and talk to Tally. Um, real quick, I do want to see if like any of our other crew members have anything to say about what's going on right now. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Okay, of course, so Commander. probably just like Legion and Tally might have stuff to say. Ooh, I literally have a stomach ache from like making my decision today. I don't think I've ever felt this much emotion from picking a decision. I... I feel like either way is just a bad outcome. Like they all, they both had pros, they both had cons. I really like Legion. I think that he is truthful, um, as truthful as an AI can be. And I think he does have good intentions. 
I want him to elaborate more on two things, where he got his N7 armor and how the heck they just randomly started getting swayed one way or the other. Like, how did that happen? How did the sway between fighting organics and not organic and not fighting organics, where did the line come from? Shepard. Tell me more. I have questions about the gap. Specify. Oh, upgrades. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. Allies? Some of the Geth followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. I don't see the difference. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. I remember that conversation very clearly. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler. A Sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it. One ship. One will, many minds, like the Gath. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Gath. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. We are a nation, but interdependent. Some of the Gath followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. So, yeah, Geth speech, Geth government. <laughs> I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. That mean if I could communicate like bzz, and that means like meet me at the park at 12 on Tuesday thank you love you bye that makes sense <laughs> instead of all of that just a bzz. do Geth have a government not as you understand we are all Geth we build consensus most governments do organic governments impose consensus from a single point of view in autocracies by codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. This is crazy. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. Yeah. It's crazy. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. FTL comm system? Um, I think we should do it. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. Okay, so what is a prototype? Got sniper rifle. Whoa. Legion gets a widow anti material rifle. It's just for him? Wow. Shepard. All right. 
Yeah, the fate of the heretics. What happens to the heretics now? They will isolate themselves and reconsider their past judgments. How long will that take? We think at the speed of light. In the time it takes you to voice a question, I can review all my time aboard Normandy. When they have reached new judgments, they will leave their hiding places and return to us. Okay. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. A consensus, okay. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Okay. Wow, what a another crazy conversation to unpack in my brain. I did not think that this is how Mass Effect was going to go. I did not see us working alongside Geth like this in this extent. It's just, it's wild to me that this is happening right now. All right, I'm going to go to the Combat Information Center. I want to see what he gave us the iff is nearly installed shepherd however i must test its impact on the normandy systems i suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location okay how may i help you commander is there anything i should know nothing right now anything okay. else commander that'll be all good luck out there shepherd let's go see what joker thinks and then we're gonna go look at the upgrades real quick and see what upgrades he gave us we've got a geth on board not as a prisoner can you believe that Commander's taking out more Geth than anybody. This one must be different. Well, it's good they trust me. At least they're not like, wow, Commander Shepard must really be off a rocker. Good job reforming those Geth, Commander. That'll never bite us in the ass. Joker. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. Having Legion around is just... Begging for a rifle up your ass without the sweet talk. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Begging for a rifle. Okay. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Okay. That's it for now. See you, Commander. The crew is still working to get the Reaper IFF installed, Shepard. It is more complicated than I first anticipated. I will alert you once the system is ready for shakedown. Shakedown. Is there anything else I can do for you? No. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay. Why did she turn her head? Okay. Let's go figure out what that upgrade was. And then I'm going to go try to talk to Tally. I don't know if there's anything that we can say to her. Or if she's just going to blow us off again. <laughs> um... I really feel like I made the wrong decision for the Koreans overall. I think that it's probably going to be really bad for them unless they find some form of peace. Like the, like some of them want, some of them want peace. And honestly, now that they're bigger, stronger, everything else, I think that that's probably their best bet is to choose peace over war. But I don't know if that will actually ever happen. I'm just not sure. Was it? Oh, maybe it was just the gas sniper rifle. Okay, cool. So we got him a sniper rifle. Everything else is up to date. I'll talk to Morden real quick. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? No. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Okay, so let's go and talk to Tally. I really, really, really hope that she has something more to say, but it's okay. The IFF if she... is nearly installed, Shepard. She doesn't. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. Ooh. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Disappointing. That's okay. 
All right, everyone, that's it for today. What another wild, wild episode. Legion's loyalty mission was honestly amazing. I was able to learn a little bit more about how the Geth actually work. And I'm not sure if I'm getting this right, but it kind of sounds like the Geth that were originally with the Reapers and all of that stuff, they were on board, the, on board the Sovereign. They were doing things against the Organics. I just feel like maybe they were being taken over by the Sovereign, that they had some sort of like either virus upload or they were taken over by the Sovereign with like EM waves or something like that. I just think it's really interesting that when we did our mission yesterday for the IFF, we read in the Codex that the Sovereign may work by emitting some sort of EM frequency or there was a lot of different actually. Okay, so I found it. I awkwardly had to turn the music off because um, the Codex is talking, but this was the Codex that I was talking about. And it does say corrupting organic minds um, through Reaper indoctrination, but it does mention the use of electromagnetic fields, which I thought was really interesting because the reason why we had to sprint off of the ship in order to reprogram the minds, it was like some sort of EM frequency, some sort of electromagnetic frequency to like retrain them, re rewrite the minds, essentially. I couldn't help but remember that and think that maybe the Reapers that were a part of the Sovereign had started to be swayed through this EM frequency. But I could just once again be thinking way too far into it like I normally am. I think I'm just trying to wrap my finger around everything. I still haven't gotten my two main questions from Legion answered yet. Why he's wearing N7 armor, why they came to these terms, even though they're all Geth, they just split. Like they didn't believe in the same things anymore. I just think it's very, very strange. AI don't have feelings of happy, sad, this, that. Yet, whenever I talk to Legion, his eyebrows are doing some sort of thing. There had to be some sort of reasoning why they decided to split ways other than the 0.00001% difference, which I mean, apparently is a very big deal. Obviously, they have some form of opinion. I mean, look, today they had a consensus. They said 571 want to rewrite, 570 whatever want um, destruction. So there's some form of decision making. I think I'm just trying to rack my head around how they are forming these decisions, how it's happening and why, because I'm not sure. We don't really know Edie that well. I don't feel like we don't really get to talk to her that much. That's the only other AI that I know. <laughs> so that's why I'm using her as an example. But I'm pretty sure if I asked her like, Edie, what dress should I wear tonight? She would be like, I don't know. Or like, I don't have an opinion about this. Or she wouldn't understand, like it wouldn't compute. Whereas like, it seems like, and maybe dress, picking a dress is a bad example. Just the fact that the Geth that Legion is talking to, forming a consensus with, they were able to tally votes. Like they are constantly tallying votes and making decisions based on how they feel collectively. It's just super, super interesting to me. I hope I made the right decision with saving slash rewriting the Geth. I think ultimately that the pros of it they get to help us kill the Reapers eventually because they'll have this vendetta against them as well now. I don't know. I just hope that the more people on our team to help us fight the Reapers, the better chance we have of surviving. I couldn't just destroy a bunch of legions. I mean, look at him. He's making informed decisions. He has N7 armor for some reason. Like, he obviously chose to wear that. No Geth is putting N7 armor I, I want to know where the where the armor came from. I don't know if they're ever going to tell us or if I have to just kind of like guess. I am very excited to hop in next time. We're going to start with the side missions that I pick up from scanning and 
hopefully kick off the next part of this mission. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you all enjoy watching me be utterly confused about what is going on right now. Let me know in the comments below how you decided to handle the Geth situation. Did you decide to rewrite them? Did you decide to destroy them and why? Because I'd really like to know and hear from you guys as usual. Thank you for hanging out here today and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everyone.